Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here and in today's CCNA and CSENT video flashcard exam we have got ROM and Flash and NVRAM and RAM and maybe a little something else worked in here because I always found that one of the most challenging parts of getting started with the routers and of course studying for your ICND 1 and 2 exams was just remembering where everything was as far as the starting config and the routing tables and the running config you know what you lose on a reload and what you don't lose but this is really important information for troubleshooting in the real world and of course passing the CSENT and CCNA exams. So what I've got here are really some flashcard type questions for you. I'm not going to give you any choices. The questions are short and so are the answers, but again, vital information for both your CSENT and CCNA exams. So let's go ahead and jump right in here with question one. Where are the posts kept? And by the way, just give me a quick definition here. What is a post? It's not enough to know what that stands for. We need to know exactly what it is. Let's go ahead and move to the next question. Where will we find the iOS images on a Cisco router? Where are they kept? Of ROM, Flash, RAM, and NVRAM, which one or ones loses the contents on a reload? Where exactly are the startup and running configurations kept? My one hint to you is that they're not in the same place. And we better know what kind of things we're losing on a reload and what we're not. So of the following, of startup config, running config, dynamically learned routes, and the iOS images, which ones do we lose on a reload? Before we dive into the answers, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe while you're at here. We're having some great conversations out in Twitter and Facebook as well, so I hope you'll join us out there. We're having a lot of fun, several thousand subscribers to each of those, and of course on YouTube we're close to 5,000 subscribers as of this date. So please do join us out there. Let's go ahead and go through the answers. What is a post to begin with? It's a power on self test. And what that is basically is the router or switch uh, running tests as it begins to load and just saying, uh, uh, do we have any serious issues? Like say a fan broken or a corruption in memory. Because if that happens, there's no reason for the router to go through the steps to boot if it's not going to be able to successfully do so in the first place. The reason I threw the word switch in there really quick is that I reloaded a switch while I was chatting there and I wanted to show you on some devices you'll actually see the word post mentioned. And here it did a front end loopback test, pass, that kind of thing. You might not see every single one. Here's a system board test that switch did at the very beginning, Ethernet controller test pass, that kind of thing. So basically you're just looking for serious issues that would prevent it from operating normally if it booted successfully anyway, which of course it couldn't if it was failing one of those posts. Those power on self tests, by the way, are kept in ROM, in read-only memory. The iOS images, which obviously are pretty darn important, are kept in flash. Now of ROM, Flash, RAM, and NVRAM, which one of these loses contents on a reload? Only the RAM does. ROM is going to keep its contents, Flash is going to keep its contents, and the non-volatile RAM, NVRAM, that's why we call it non-volatile, it's going to retain its contents on a reload. Speaking of NVRAM, that is where you're going to find the startup configurations. So we've got our startup config in NVRAM, our running config is kept in RAM. So our startup config is going to be retained on a reload and our running config is not. So related to that question, of course, which of these are lost on a reload? Well, your startup config is in NVRAM and it's going to be retained. Your running config is in RAM and it's not going to be kept. And the same is true for your dynamically learned routes, your routing table. And then finally your iOS image, we better keep that on a reload. And we will because that is in flash. Thanks for taking today's flashcard challenge. We've got a lot more of these on the way. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're out here. And I will see you there. Enjoy your day.